designer versus AI. Please welcome Chili. She's a freelance designer. She's going to be battling AI today. Your design brief is to design a screen for a mobile app of an NFT platform for sellers to log in into their user accounts. OK? That's also too easy. It's all those <laughs> things which all those design challenges websites uh, <coughs> bring up. Now, the real task is design a UI for a mobile app for controlling air conditioning system. The company is called Air Comfortable. And it allows users to schedule and manually set temperature across different rooms of the house. And the logo can be downloaded at this URL. That should keep, keep us entertained for 15 minutes. And in the end, uh, you are the ones who are going to be voting which design is, you know, like on LinkedIn, which design is better? And then the, the shitstorm of comments. What do you mean which design? What's the context? What's the, what's the business problem? So yeah. So, Chile, you f feel free to ask any questions, because AI cannot ask questions. Ha. Okay. Uh, but I'll pass it on anyways. How does it? How does it? How does it sound? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I Sergey set me up. He didn't even tell me what we're gonna design before. I, I honestly didn't. So, tell. yeah. Um, I'm feeling a little bit shaky in my design skills. I am a very slow designer. <laughs> um, I think people should be like maybe sketching their versions to see what they think would be a good um, idea. Yeah, I think you should do that. We're gonna do side by side. On one side. <laughs> There is a real designer on the other side. I'm not going to do anything because that thing okay, uh, renders uh, in about 30 seconds. So we're going to wait until Chile finishes, and then we're going to see concoction of AI. For AI uh, tool, I've picked uh, Wizard, UIzard. So we'll see how what is going to come up with, but later. Chile, if you can walk us through what you're up to. Um, so for the time being, I'm doing the different rooms. So I'm going for a wireframe. So it will not look as good as the AI tool because we're doing wireframes. However, I think what I'm going to do is think about how people feel, um, how people live, and how they would experience this within their daily lives. So first thing you've got is your your different rooms and where well, you can manually set it. OK, um, maybe we can add. However, I was thinking of a way to set a, an optimum temperature. That's what I want to do. So you've got your manual settings here. Pom, pom, pom. So, UI. Um, I, I feel like one of those, you know, CEOs who, who got hold of the new toy, AI toy. It's like, yeah, let's see what the thing can do. <laughs> so, now I don't need designers apparently, right? Because I can just see AI. Oh, this thing. So, it's a mobile phone. Describe mm -hmm. your project in plain English. All right. I'm going to paste exactly the same brief, which I have. Provided to Chile. Describe a style. Mm. Make it nice. <laughs> it will not be nice in 15 minutes. <laughs> Light, dark, modern, artsy. Darth Vader style. Dark. Following the trends. OK, Chili, what are you up to? Walk us through, please. OK, so we've got the page where we're manually setting, but then we're going to not only set um, a schedule, we're also going to set um, their optimum temperature. Because 
with something like aircon, it will be like, oh, do we switch it on and off, high or low? Um, when you think about people's experiences, it's not really about on and off or high or low. We have to think about the end goal. The end goal of the customer is to think, what temperature do I want it to be? So in all the pro design problems that you have, rather than thinking about, oh, now I'm not even designing anymore. <laughs> I'm cutting into my time. Rather than thinking about, um, this is the screen I'm going to do, or this is how I'm going to make it look, the best thing you, to think about is the end goal. What is the user going to do, feel, or achieve? And in this case, it is not just about setting the temperature up or down. It is about having a, an optimal temperature within the room. Yeah, I'm hot, not so, optimal temperature so, in the room. So, so ideally, this could even be done without um, a, a phone. It could be like a physical product in the room that feels the temperature, and then that sparks it, and it will decide whether it's going on or off based on what temperature it is outside. So I could easily be like, at 2 o'clock, set it on. But then what if at 2 o'clock the temperature is fine? There's no need for it to be on. Right, Chile, what's going on? What's happening? You're still working through the different, <laughs> different rooms? Yeah, I mean, I did already say this is going to look very ugly. Um, it's how it's much like time a cooking show, have? you know, you don't cook a show. When you cook, you also, they also narrate. <laughs> how much time do we have? <laughs> uh, you have five minutes left. OK. No pressure. Uh, <laughs> um, and, then you're, and then now I'm going to work on some sort of home screen where it tells you Okay, I feel like I'm done, so you can do the. Huh? Yeah. So what I've done is I've done a home screen. I don't know if you can see that. Uh -huh. Where it's going to be very simple, <laughs> and it's like all the rooms are at a, an optimum temperature. So the reason why I did the home screen last is because I've got the settings pages first, where the ideal is that you're going to have an ideal temperature, and then the only thing you can do on your home screen. The idea of this is that you don't need to go into this as much. The idea of it is that all you can do on your home screen is possibly switch it off. Um, 
sorry. I'm seeing some interesting. It's thinking. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh -oh. The thing is working. Okay. Let's have a look at <laughs> the wizard. Okay. Uh, control. Set a perfect temperature in every room of your home. Okay. Sign up. Welcome to <laughs> manage your rooms. Ooh, look at that. Wait, wait, wait. What's this? <laughs> okay, okay. He's making some assumptions. <laughs> Discover new features. Today's okay. temperature tips, Italian cuisine. <laughs> 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 okay. Activities to try. Um, show how you rank. Show how your temperature ranks against other temperatures. Okay. All right. Oh, I can set temperature for even months ahead. That's good. That's fine. Fair okay. enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Important water outage. <laughs> you have overpayment or heating bill. That's fair, actually. Yes. New offer for internet. Yay. And settings. But wh where do you set the temperature? Okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> so we can all agree that our jobs are safe for now. Um, I mean, it has been a very tough year for the, for the tech market um, in terms of jobs. And I can imagine, just like with me, when I saw all these AI tools pop up at the beginning of the year, it was quite daunting. But I think the, the outcome of this experiment, the main takeaway is that designers are more than just pixel pushers and decorators. We solve problems. Um, the AI doesn't have the ability to, I mean, it didn't have the ability to do anything, but um, mainly it, it can't question what we're doing. It cannot even break down the problem or stand back and ask if we're looking at the right problem to begin with. Um, I'm sure some of you guys have had the experience of dealing with clients who don't even know what their problems are. And some of my best problem-solving moments have been outside of the typical UI screen where you are making sure you're getting the client from A to reach their goal, whether that's through maybe a set of emails, through push notifications. I think the role of a product designer is to also think outside the screen and look at how people are interacting with these products in their daily lives. Like my product, the idea of my product was for the user not to use it that much. Um, that's why I wanted them to think about what is their ideal temperature rather than thinking about the buttons of going, are we going to um, increase it or decreasing? Um, I think the best products are ones that are working for the user as like a PA um, without them doing anything. Those are the best products. But I do know that sometimes the business goals need the user's attention. So it's about like balancing those two. Um, but I would also like to know more about what your experiences are um, with AI. So if you follow me on Twitter, I mean X, um, let me know how you're using it. I sometimes use it as a point of reference for um, layout. As you can see, I'm very slow <laughs> in designing. But, so I do need that point of inspiration of like, what's it going to look like, the colors, but I don't look at it as, um, as what am I going to design helping me to solve that problem. Well, the technology at the moment is still quite new, and it's going to evolve over time. So we don't know what, where it's going to go. But I would say we can rest assured that if you make sure that you focus on your problem-solving skills and your research skills to understand the user better and the problems that you're trying to solve, then I'm sure we'll be OK. So based on the poll, yes. you are, there is high probability that you are the winner, 96%. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> but it looks like I won't be taking your jobs yet. Good for you, but I'll be back. <laughs> 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 well that? done. 
who was that 4% that thought that the Italian cuisine 4%. was better than me? <laughs> Maybe AI. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Chile. Thank much you, appreciated. everybody. <laughs>